Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Our current read today, we are resuming our read on Exodus, the 32nd chapter. We are over here on verses 25. I do have the live me ministry uh, portion of our ministry here with me, and I was just laughing at verse 24, what we read on yesterday. Where he had all them people throw all the gold and stuff into the fire. And you see that, see that light he told right there? And the calf just came out. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's get into our read for today. Let me set the seven-minute timer. And it reads, And when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies, then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. For Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son and upon his brothers, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses said unto the people, Ye have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto the Lord. Preadventure I shall make an atonement for your sin. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin. And have made them gods of gold. Yet now thou wilt forgive their sin. And if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of the, thy book which thou hast written. Moses petitioning unto the Lord yet again for these peoples. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. You don't tell me what to do, sir. Therefore now, go, lead the people unto the place which I have spoken unto thee. Behold, mine angel shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. Chapter 23. And the Lord said unto Moses, Depart and go up thence, thou and the people which thou hast brought up out of the land of Egypt, into the land which I swear unto Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying unto thy seed, I will give it. And I will send an angel before thee, and I will drive out the Canaanite, the Amorite, and the Hittites, and the Parasites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art a stiff-necked people, lest I consume thee in the way. And when the people heard these evil tidings, they mourned, and no man did put on his ornaments. For the Lord had said unto Moses, Say unto the children of Israel, You are stiff-necked people. I will come up into, unto the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Before now, put out thy ornaments from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. And the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments by the Mount Horeb. And Moses took the tabernacle and pitched it without the camp, afar off from the camp and called it the tabernacle of the congregation. And it came to pass that every one which stopped the Lord went out unto the tabernacle of the congregation, which was without the camp. And it came to pass when Moses went out unto the tabernacle, that all the people rose up and stood every man at his tent door, and looked after Moses until he was gone into the tabernacle. And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle, The cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle, and the Lord talked with Moses. And all the people saw the, the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door, 
And all the people rose up and worshipped every man in his tent door. And the Lord spoke unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. And he turned again unto the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. And Moses said unto the Lord, See thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people, and thou hast let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray thee, if I found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, Carry us not up hence, for therein shall it be known, for wherein shall it be known here, that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight. Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight. And I know thee by name. Mm, mm, mm. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. And will be gracious to whom I'll be gracious. And will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. And the Lord said, behold. There's a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. And it shall come to pass, while my glory passes by, that I will put thee in a cliff of the rock, and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. I will take away mine hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Chapter 34 and the Lord said unto Moses, Hew thee two stones, two tablets of stone, like unto the first. And I will write upon these tablets the words that were in the first tablets, which thou breakest. And be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present, and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and you the hearer of this precious and sacred word of God. What we're going to do is we're going to um, come back tomorrow and just start back at uh, chapter 34. When God gets is talking to Moses and talking about the two tablets. Okay, that sounds sound like a plan. Sounds like a plan to me. Amen. I want to say again, thank you, thank you, thank you, Smurf Club, for your continued support and donation to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson or dollar sign Mama Pam 23. All donations are appreciated. We are Smurf, seven minute read family, seven minute read followers, just some seven minute read faithful folk. We broadcast across 16 social media platforms, uh, Pacific Standard Time. I am in California, Pacific Standard Time. Monday through Friday at noon and 7 p.m. every evening we read the Bible. Remember, we live in faith and not in fear. I love you. God bless.